Hello friends, how you of this video find you happy and healthy? Today we about to discuss one of the most commonly known type of PLC which you might have heard of many time, semen PLC. Today we take overview on the introduction semen PLC all types. Semen is a German based PLC. It has a market capture of 28% in the industrial automation sector due to wide variety of the products. So in this lecture we will cover all the type of the PLC and their software. So they are following type of the Siemens PLC. First one is the logo Siemens PLC. S7200, S7300, S7400, S7200 and S7500. First one is the logo Siemens. This is the first PLC of the Siemens brand. Logo PLC is a very small a compact PLC and it has only 16 input output configuration and you can see in picture it has a one LCD in front of the PLC but you cannot connect the HMI with this PLC and the software of this PLC is the logo soft port. It is a very simple and very small PLC of the industrial point of view. S7200 PLC. This is the second PLC of the semen brand. It is also compact and small PLC and mostly used in the small scale of the industry projects. This is the range of the digital input output is 256. You can use maximum 256 input output in this PLC. And analog capacity is 38 and the programming software is micro win. And the CPU available in this PLC is from CPU 212 to CPU 226. S7300 S7300 S7, PLC is very common PLC and every industry and mostly every complex machine is using this, this type of the semen PLC. Because this PLC is available in compact and modular types. And all the mostly medium and small industry is using this type of the PLC. And this the this PLC capacity of the IO is digital IO is 1024. And capacity of the analog IO is 256. It's very large values. And you can control many sensors by these capacities. The CPU available in the market from 312 to 318 and uh, it's so all software is matic manager and uh, nowadays you know TA portal is very common PLC similar PLC software you can also use this type PLC on the software of TA portal S7400 S7400 PLC is very common PLC and mostly every complex machine has this type of the PLC because this is a modular type PLC and has a very uh, capacity of the digital and analog input is very high. The digital input output capacity is 16384 and capacity of the analog input output is 4000. This is a very big value and uh, you can control very large scale of the sensor inputs and output actuators. The CPU is available from 400 to 12 to 418. And if you want to connect your machine with DCS system, to you have to use this type of the PLC. Because this type of the PLC S7400 is has a DCS connecting in built in system. So you can easily connect your PLC with DCS system. The programming software is Semantic Manage, this is old software. And no other TA portal is very common uh, software of the semen PLC. You can also use it for controlling and programming the S7400 PLC. S7200 S7200 PLC is widely used PLC in small application with modular based IOs. You can extend 11 IOs module depend upon CPU model with 712 PLC. You can connect you any input module, output module, motion controller with this PLC according your project and logics. The software for this PLC is available as a metric manager. 
Matting Manager is the old software and TA Portal is the new software. You can also use Matting Manager and TA Portal software for this PLC. S7-1500 S7-1500 PLC is very advanced PLC of the Siemens brand. It is a very user friendly PLC and uh, you can see in the picture it is the LCD in front of the CPU. By this LCD you can see the any problem in the CPU and PLC and uh, you can also check the error of the any type of the communication and any type of the input output error you can see the in this LCD. The software of the this PLC is a TA portal and you can uh, connect the software and you can program it by a TA portal. Now last topic of the this lecture is the hardware of the Siemens PLC. Uh, you can see a uh, first one is the power supply. PS is a power supply by this module the supply of the voltage of 24 is given to the all the modules and CPU. And next one is the CPU. This is the CPU of the PLC. And next one is the IM is the interface module. And next one is the digital input is a DI. And next one the DO is the digital output. And next one is the AI is the analog input. And AO is the analog output and in this way you can connect your input output module digital analog according your project and your design. No last two FM and CP. FM is the closed loop control module and last one is the Profibus. CP is the Profibus industrial internet communication system. If you want to control a uh, communicate that this PLC to other Profibus is the communication system will be used by this module.